Tero. All right. Wow. 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 So I just got back from seeing Bohemian Rhapsody and it was in incredible. Not the greatest move of all time whatsoever, but if you love Queen, if you love Freddie Mercury, you will, I guarantee, love this. If you have the opportunity to watch it in IMAX, I suggest you do. I know for a fact it will be worth it. This wasn't just an average biopic about Queen. It wasn't just a celebration of Queen or Freddie. It was a celebration of people and difference and diversity. This film takes place before the band groups up, all the way up to their Live Aid performance in 1985. Now this is only a film, and film like I said, celebrating all of the above, and so unfortunately could not go into great depth into every aspect of their story. They touched on Freddie's struggle with AIDS and also quite a bit on his sexuality, of which is a huge part of his story. I think the way they went about it was well put together, and can I just say, Paul is a dick. He was so annoying, and I guess that's how he was supposed to be portrayed. Anyway, on to the cast. Rami Malek did a wonderful job portraying Freddy. It was honestly incredible. The singing was very good, and apparently some of it was him, some was recordings of Freddy, and some was by Mark Mattel, who is the closest thing you will hear to Freddy Mercury these days. The rest of the cast did brilliant too, there was not a single person I had a problem with, I think there was once or twice whereby you could tell, oh yeah, he's lip syncing that, but not enough to take you out of the movie by any means. And yes, the music, I mean, it's Queen, you're slowly given the stories of how songs came about. The story as a whole was well done, it did follow the classic trope of band not together, band meet, band write songs, band gets big, band wants more, band breaks up, band realises it's not a band but family, band reunites for something bigger. But it didn't really matter for this type of movie. You get to see the pain Freddy felt over his sexuality, and how he almost felt he wasn't good enough for his family, but he felt he could be himself on stage and around one, Mary. Freddie and Mary's relationship was shown to be very natural and their love for each other was believable. It genuinely was the first time I have ever wanted to clap, ever wanted to sing to a movie. The atmosphere was crazy and another thing I loved was the ending. What I was expecting was for Freddie to walk out on stage at Live Aid and for that to be the end, as we hear the clapping and bang of drums starting. But what we got was literally half of the concert right there. You felt like you were there, in the crowd, watching this incredible performance. What I don't understand is at the time of writing this review is that the Rotten Tomatoes score is 51%. How on earth? Some of the reviews are saying it's flashy but not what we wanted. It's a celebration of Queen and Freddie and everyone. It was fun and visually amazing. That's all I wanted. So overall I thought Bohemian Rhapsody was funny, fun, interesting and an incredibly well acted portrayal of my favourite band and musicians of all time. On first time viewing I would give it a 9 or even 10 out of 10 and yes that is completely biased because I love Queen and their songs. If it was another band I wasn't aware of it would still be a decently rated movie but that's not what I'm reviewing here. Quick note, I love the opening credits with the 20th Century Fox logo, but the music was done on an electric guitar. That was actually pretty cool. Anyway, so if you love Queen, you'll love this, and don't be afraid to join in with the singing. Sing. Who cares? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.